Hi, this is Princess Lilian's tips on how to ripen all your tomatoes. Sometimes we have to harvest a lot of green tomatoes at the end of the growing season and they do not ripen well. This happened to me and I was very frustrated and disappointed, but I soon learned how to avoid it. Usually 25 days after flowering, tomatoes are mature and start blushing. This blushing can take another 25 days before we have red ripe tomatoes ready to eat, making a total of 50 days. This is too long. As gardeners, we can shorten this time for every trussel of tomatoes by using the following tips. Sow tomato seeds indoors 5 or 6 weeks before the last frost date to jumpstart your garden in spring. Place tomatoes seedlings in garden when spring arrives and the soil is warmer. Tomato seedlings placed outside in spring grow rapidly. The plants are still youthful and healthy. They start vigorously flowering and fruiting in trussels. Soon, the clear blue skies shows that summer has arrived and it's beautiful weather. The optimum temperature for ripening tomatoes will soon be reached. This is 20 to 25 degrees centigrade or 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, the same as room temperature. Hence, tomatoes can ripen indoors. Have plants firmly staked or caged for upright growth so they capture the warmth of the sun in their full length and the flowers are more accessible for insects and air pollination. Help pollination by hand pollinating your flowers, flicking the plants and tapping the flowers to complement pollination. Take leaves off the stem and choose what suckers to remove and what to remain. It's your choice. This helps the plant's energy to be focused to fruit production. Reflectors can be used to reflect the sunlight back onto the plants. 22 to 23 days after flowering, start looking out to spot blushing early is very good and then do all of the following take out any leaves and branches that are old and generally declutter your plants take off unproductive suckers to expose the fruits and also direct the energy to fruiting apply epsom salt that is magnesium sulfate seaweed, banana peels while watering regularly. You may use any fertilizers of your choice, but make sure this contain phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, as they are the ones necessary for fruiting and ripening. Finally, mulch once again with compost to keep the roots warm and covered. Like magic, Within a week to a fortnight, your garden will be decked in red ripe tomatoes. Prepare for harvest and be careful not to drop green tomatoes. A few will drop and they will ripen indoors. They may just be small. Harvest your tomatoes and check the stems to see those that do not have any more to produce. Cut out such stems and tie back your stems all over again. Every time you harvest a bunch of tomatoes, carefully check and make sure there are no more tomatoes left. Check all other tomatoes and decide if you want to harvest them as bunches or single because all the tomatoes on it may not yet be ripe and some may actually be quite small. Take a look at the stem. If it doesn't have any more to produce, cut out such spent stems. Never forget to tie 
tie back all loose stems and cut off spare leaves. They are not really needed. Make sure as you go along, harvest every tomato that is overly ripe because you may not be able to harvest your whole garden on the same day. When I see a bunch like this, I try to harvest it because most of the tomatoes on this bunch are red. There's just one that is blushing. You see? So I'll harvest this bunch and it will ripen indoors. It's the same temperature requirement. You can see and we still have another red bunch above. I will harvest this bunch as well. This plant has three stems. And they are all producing well. Yeah. The third stem has a lot more green tomatoes. But they will all get there because I have chopped this plant. I've taken off all the flowers at the top. Now let's look at this. I harvested some tomatoes off it a week ago and the others were not yet ripe. This is the second trussel, this is the third trussel, the fourth trussel, the fifth trussel and you can see at the top. I chopped this two weeks ago because it's already got a lot of fruits on it and now they had the energy to be able to ripen and even grow bigger. This is what's best for tomatoes. Once they have produced a lot, top your tomatoes two months before the tomato season ends. And the ones that are already on it will get larger and ripen. The ones that are flowers you take them off. At the end of this video, you can see today's harvest. It's already getting dark. So, I'll be here for a bit. We'll go indoors and you can see my harvest. This is my stagger bed and you can see two tomatoes blushing on it. I'll come here tomorrow and apply some fertilizers, put compost and mulch it to cover all the roots. I'll take off some leaves as well. Thanks a million for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for your likes, for your comments and for subscribing. Please harvest your tomatoes this is my harvest for the day and this as well. I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you very much. Bye.